Today we're going to talk about compressed sense, particularly of the spine, but also in general and all the great things about uh, this new technology that's making our life so much easier in the clinical world. So with compressed sense, and we're looking at resolution versus time, this is where we really can have our cake and eat it as well. Even more with 3D and anything with sparsity in it like an MRA or MRCP, we can go far beyond what we thought we could before. So when looking at the benefits of compressed sense, it's the ability to have the patients prepared have the technologists less stressed throughout the day because they have more confidence in their scans and the patients less stressed because there's less time in the scanner and more time to prepare them. As a positive experience for the patients, it essentially it's just less time in the scanner. For some people the scanner is quite a scary environment, especially if they're already sick and got other worries and they often come with anxiety that uh, is difficult to suppress, making it a, a faster time in the scan and um, knowing that they can uh, cope with that a lot easier certainly makes their experience a lot nicer uh, and we're getting a lot of that feedback when they're coming off the scanner they always thought it was going to be a longer scan and they were building themselves up for something that was a lot more torturous. Uh, whether it's got implants or not it's something that um, we've found that uh, if anything we find a lot of physiological artifacts uh, decreased as a result of using compressed sense. My initial experience was just so pleasantly surprised um, after seeing in theory how this works and some of the early testing just how easy it was to implement and also just how far you could push it compared to normal parallel imaging techniques that we've been using. Um, I remember a really good story when we first started. We had a patient that was about 150 kilos, we were doing their spine and the initial testing we basically went, uh, especially because we need that high penetration, we normally wouldn't use parallel imaging on someone that size. We went straight to two and then instantly half the scan time and uh, it was quite a nice surprise to see the look on the radiologist's face when they couldn't really tell you which one was which. So looking for tips and tricks with compressed sense. If it's an area of the body that you have never used parallel imaging on before, you could probably start with a compressed sense value of two and go from there quite confidently. Um, you also, uh, you've got three levels of denoising that you can have a setting for weak, medium and strong. And medium is the default mode. You tend to find that sometimes you can't help yourself but have a look at what strong may look like, but you don't really need to have that much out. And sometimes if you have too much denoising, you can actually make it look a little synthetic. The key is to really start out with the default and then go from there. We actually, in the setup mode, would actually save the raw data, then do a delayed reconstruction with each of the modes and then find the best quality outcome and then stick with that. From a user perspective, once it's set up, it's just point and shoot and we use it as normal. You just have a much shorter scan time and a nice quality outcome. So when looking at implementation of compressed sense, it's basically exactly the same on the user interface as using sense. Um, it's just an, a lower parameter on the geometry tab. Um, we'd apply it exactly the same way with a number and when you open up compressed sense you get your denoising options come up if you wanted to change that. Essentially it's exactly the same and from a user perspective um, it's as if you were using parallel imaging except you're using compressed sense so uh, it's certainly not difficult in any way and once your uh, manager or super user has set the initial sequence up you have the ability to change it but you probably won't need to very much. So if I want to look at how many exam cards I'm using with compressed sense, pretty much every single one. Particularly in the latest iteration of software where we can use it with DS Zoom, and that was one of my favourite other um, implementations of the platform that we're using, being able to use no oversampling. Being able to combine that with compressed sense pretty much makes it now, pretty much everything has compressed sense to some degree. Uh, some much further than we ever expected it would, um, but we've been extremely happy with its outcome. And knowing where it's going, I know that um, I don't think I'd buy a scanner without it now. So in a nutshell, looking at compressed sense, being able to make feasible to have that high image quality and short scan times, it's something that we never really thought we'd see uh, to this degree. The benefits of um, the speed that you can have with the quality is something that uh, once you've seen, you can't unsee.